You've been minding your business with the mind of your business and mind your own business. You know, when Mother Nature shows you she's showing up, she going to show you she's showing up. No, respectfully. Mother Nature is here. Mother Nature, the real Mother Nature is here. Let me tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. This ain't them. I, I swear this ain't them. Uh-uh. This rain right here, this is Mother Nature. <laughs> I never had so much motherfucking all right as a motherfucking life. You ever had to reevaluate your life of your thought process of yourself and say to yourself, I love myself so much, but please huh, stop hurting me. Huh? Help me, help me. When you can't even help yourself, your head is all messed up and jacked up. All right, it's, it's real. When it rains, it's going to pour. <laughs> Yo, when it was pouring. <laughs> Yo. You know, before it start the rain, when the, when Mother Nature is really, really here, right? When the real world Mother Nature is really here, right? <laughs> Your body starts to do something within the body. <laughs> yeah, when you know, you know. <laughs> you could be laying in the bed, minding your business. <laughs> you just start dreaming out of nowhere. Life and death situation. That's how you feel. Like, wait, oh, Lord. Wait, 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 wait. My big toe. <laughs> I never felt this in my life. It's been a long time. Mother Nature's here. <laughs> you like <clears throat> you saying to yourself what the saying to yourself is? Anybody <laughs> 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 wait your thought process for you? <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> You can't come to terms as to what's going on. All you know is your foot is locking up and you just can't figure out your door process. <laughs> it's the door process for me. Or you start to get these sharp little pains or whatever the case may be. Not just a sharp a pain, but you know how when you get that muscle spasm pain. Oh, oh help me. Help me. Can nobody help you but you right now? Pray. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. I see appreciate time to the genuine ones only. You know, coming out of your comfort zone is not easy. You know, especially when the enemy has been part of your life for so long and generation after generation and you don't know how to come to terms as to, you know, when is enough going to be enough? I'm tired of hurting myself. I'm tired of beating myself up. I'm tired of living in fear and being discouraged and feeling like giving up. But that's what the enemy wants you to do. Because the enemy has been in your life for so long. And then you start to become your own worst enemy because you start to hurt your own self with words. Don't get discouraged during this time. You cannot get discouraged during this time. And I say that respectfully. We walk by faith, not by sight. And this is not for everybody, and I say that respectfully. But at the end of the day, kind of make it make sense because they've been lying to you folks for too long. They've been lying to you folks for a long time when it comes to religion. And I say that respectfully. When it comes to psyching you out your freedom. Come on, when is enough going to be enough? Going against your neighbor right now is not part of the plan. And I say that respectfully because you want to get technical. It's only really one God, the real God. Not the enemy God that's going to go against somebody. The, the, the good God. The good God. is going to show you at the end of the day that there are better days ahead. And that you could be patient with your process because God is still patient with you. It's not going to hurt you. The good God doesn't hurt you. The good God doesn't allow you to sign a contract with the enemy. The good God will not put you in a situation where you cannot allow yourself to not come out of at the end of the day. The good God will come and get you and show you at the end that you're going to rise and become your best self version of yourself. That miracle that just happened for you, that's what the good God does. The enemy God will allow you to feel like a gift within a gift. They don't want you to win. That energy is different. The good God wants you to win in a healthy way. Win for you when you choose you. Not hurt yourself with words, beat yourself up. And I say that respectfully. So understand the assignment within the assignment that there are better days ahead, but you got to believe in yourself. And don't allow the enemy to sit here and psych you out your thought process when it comes to your freedom. 
in your pockets over a dollar. Because the good God always provides. The good God is going to always show you that you are worthy and you matter because you are the miracle and God is still patient with your process. The good God would not want you to sign your life away for a dollar to hurt yourself. And especially if you know the domino effects behind hurting yourself in a toxic way. If it's not bringing motivation and elevating you in the most healthiest way, it's not for you. If it's going to make you feel like you got to question yourself at any shape or form at the end of the day, to allow you to believe that you're not worthy of yourself, it's not for you. If it's going to make you feel like you're going to be in depression behind it, it's not for you. If, it, if, it's, if, if, if it's going to make you feel like the people who is trying to go against you and hurt you in the most toxic way, because they're the enemy, they're the real enemy, they're not for you. The good God won't put you in a situation like that. The good God would not put you in a situation like that. The enemy would. And then you become your own worst enemy, hurting your own self. And I say that respectfully. God is real. Judgment Day has been here. Judgment Day has been here. You know, I don't know how far this video may get to anybody at the end of the day, but whoever hears this video, I just hope that you find peace within yourself one day and you understand that you are worthy of yourself in the most healthiest way, but you got to find you. You got to know who you are to know at the end of the day that you are so much worthy of, of what they're allowing you to believe. You are so much worthy of more and what they allow you to allow yourself to accept. And I say that respectfully. They want you to live in fear. They want you to be discovered. They want you to give up. But that was never part of God's plan. And you matter so much to yourself that you hurt yourself so much when you look at your reflection of yourself that you don't even want to look at your own reflection. You should want to be happy to look at your own reflection and see, wow, I came this far in life. If I could come this far in life with dealing with people who wasn't bringing value to my life, then they imagine what I could invest in myself to become my best self vision of myself. Those people that pushed you away, it wasn't for you. Those people that allow you to feel like you, you, you had to do this, go through this obstacle, that obstacle, through that obstacle, and that obstacle wasn't for you, but it was a lesson. To understand the lesson is not to repeat it. That energy is different because you understood the lesson. When you don't understand the lesson, you're going to continue to repeat it. And that's not because, and that's, and that's because you're not paying attention if you don't complete the lesson. But to understand the lesson, that's a blessing. Because you are the blessing to yourself to understand that you are worthy of, of greatness. You are worthy of to know that I could be my authentic self. I could be my authentic self and not allow the enemy to live in my life. Not allow the enemy to allow me to believe I, I gotta live in fear or be discouraged. You know, energy is definitely, and I say that respectfully. God is good. And like I said, this page ain't for everybody, and that's okay. But never judge a book by its cover. And I say that respectfully. You know, just because they don't understand how God is working in your favor, and you becoming your best self vision of yourself, regardless of the trauma that you endure, the child going into your adulthood, they not understand how God is favoring you. How you how you keep showing up for yourself. How did you even overcome that pain when they were supposed to be kicking you down? But you're still overriding at the end of the day. Because you understood God's plan when you chose your best self vision of yourself. And continue to choose your best self vision of yourself. Regardless if they don't understand at the end of the day. Because the only person you you plan in, in, in someone's face at the end of the day, if you fake gaslighting yourself. And you wearing a mess. And you know that God is not working in your favor because you're just miserable. You're just trying to fit in. But when you don't got to wear a mask to fake gaslight yourself and others around you at the end of the day, when you're genuinely at peace with yourself and God is working in your favor, that energy is different. When you truly don't have to wear a mask, they're not going to understand and relate to how you becoming your best self vision of yourself. Don't get discouraged. Keep elevating. Continue to choose your best self vision of yourself. Now you genuinely love respect. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Protect your energy because nobody's having your time. They were sitting here fake gas like you act like they saw into a guard. Protect your energy because now everybody's having your time. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day. Have a safe weekend. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You're genuinely respected by all the right people. Protect your energy because now everybody's having your time. Never allow the enemy or hate in the sky. The person with attention is like you have to thought process. You are worthy. Protect your energy. Now you genuinely love respect. <laughs>